This is a telephone audio interface by JK Audio, which allows you to connect standard audio equipment to the phone line. This plot diagram shows the functionality of the unit. You plug in the phone line to this port here, and you can optionally connect a phone to this port here. And this pair of hybrids separates the audio path coming from the phone to the phone line, and vice versa. To send audio onto the phone line, you can do so at either of these interfaces here. And to pull audio off of the interface, you can go through this path, which comes from the phone line, or through this path, which comes from the connected phone. I picked this up used at a ham fest, and when I first went to use it, I noticed that there was a little bit of power line noise coming through the audio. So initially I thought it was something to do with my setup, some grounding issue, but after playing around with different configurations, I realized that the noise was actually coming from the interface itself. So without really looking too far into it, I just went ahead and replaced all the electrolytics inside the device because they were kind of cheap brand electrolytics anyway, but that didn't do anything to resolve the issue. So I traced out the power supply to see if there were any issues there. A 16 volt AC transformer plugs into this part and that gets rectified by a pair of bridge rectifiers. And this bridge gets coupled through a pair of capacitors which allows for a bipolar supply to be formed. This bipolar supply is what provides the positive and negative rails to all the op amps within the interface. And the only filtering that's happening is through these resistors and these capacitors. So I tried replacing each of these resistors with some linear voltage regulators to see if that addressed the issue. And while it did significantly clean up ripple on these rails, it really didn't address the problem that I was seeing. The underlying issue can't actually be seen in this schematic, but it is worth noting that this supply is also used to provide battery voltage if an external phone is connected to the interface. When the external phone is lifted off the hook, it's going to result in additional current draw on the power supply, and that's going to cause additional ripple on the 18 volt rails. This ripple will mostly be rejected by the op amps, but since it's part of the talk battery, it's not going to get rejected by the hybrid, which is what these two transformers are part of. But it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as the main issue that we're about to address here, although it can be reduced by adding some additional shunt capacitance across these 18 volt rails. I have a pair of speakers connected to the audio interface, and if I turn them up, you can hear that power line noise that's coming through. So, an interesting thing to note is that these two levels are set to their minimum value right now, but if I turn them each up to their maximum value, this noise goes away. And we can go ahead and take a look at this on the oscilloscope. Channel 1, which is in yellow, corresponds to audio from the phone line. Right now the potentiometer is at its minimum setting, and as I turn it up, at the maximum value you can see that the power line noise is pretty much completely gone. Likewise for channel 2 in green, this is audio from the connected telephone. As I turn that up to its maximum value, the same effect happens. So if we look at the peak to peak value, it's about 3.85 millivolts and it's the same for both channels. Turning back to the audio interface, let's open this up and see what the root cause is. I've already removed the screws from the bottom. Here you can see the components on the top and the issue we have is with poor PC board layout. So let's see if I can prop this up. Our concern is the layout of the ground path, which is this trace here. So they've laid out the ground in a tree topology to try to avoid any ground loops, but the issue is our signal inputs are made with reference to this ground trace here, 
and the op amps are referencing, referencing the ground up here. But between these two paths, in this region here, is where our power supply lies. And in particular, between this point here and this point here, there's a fairly significant amount of current flowing, which results in a voltage differential between this ground and this ground. And we can actually hear this if I go ahead and take this wire and short from here to here. You can hear that the noise drops significantly when I short across that region. To resolve this, we'll cut the ground trace here and reconnect this ground rail to this ground rail with a separate wire. This will maintain the tree topology so that there's no issue of ground loops while avoiding this high voltage drop region. Here we are after the fix. I made a cut here in the ground trace and reconnected the ground rails through this wire here. Now, if I go and short across the connection that I just cut, you'll hear that the power line noise comes back. But as it stands now, there is really no noise to be heard. Turning back to the oscilloscope, in yellow we have channel 1, which is looking at the output path that connects to the connected phone line. We're at the minimum line level setting, which was originally the noisiest setting, and as you can see, there is almost no power line noise, and we're at 1 millivolts per division. If I go ahead and turn the potentiometer up to the maximum value, you can see that there's no degradation in the output. We have a similar situation with channel 2, which monitors the output of the connected phone, and we're at the minimum line level now, and if I turn it up to the maximum, again, we can see no degradation. So, a very simple fix that had a major improvement on the noise in this. I looked online to see if anyone else was reporting power line noise issues with this interface, and interestingly enough, I came across this app note by Mr. JK himself, where he discusses power line noise issues in telephone audio interfaces. So, he attributes this noise to two sources, the first being coupling between the phone line and power line, and the second source being due to grounding in the equipment. So, his solution for the second noise source is to simply ground your system. Unfortunately, that wouldn't have been able to solve the problem we were seeing here.